um, from the personal to to the sickening, this filthy pig Trump, in an interview on some fascist organization called the uh, Real America Voice Network. I guess it's a video network. And apparently there is a uh, fascist on that program named John Solomon who who has a program called Just the News. <laughs> oh, boy, is that bullshit. But John Solomon, uh, 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 no, I didn't see it. So I'm only going by the report that I found on Politico, on their website. And this John Solomon was interviewing the filthy pig Trump. And in that interview, Trump called on Putin in the middle of this fucking genocide and the slaughter and the focus of the world on what Putin is doing, Trump calls on Putin to release information regarding alleged dealings between Eastern European oligarchs and Hunter Biden. This fucking Trump, I mean, is there anything, anything, that would distract him from his own fucked up mental attitude, his own worldview. Oh, they treat, they stole my election. Oh, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden. Hey, asshole, the world is dissolving in front. Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden. I mean, it's just an obscenity, this fucking guy. And sitting with these neo-fascists on this uh TV network, whatever it is, and making his claims about Hunter Biden, Trump went back to shit that was that was put out weeks before the 2020 election. And that was this bullshit investigation, quote, quote, by fascists in the U.S. Senate, so-called Republicans, into the Bidens which showed nothing. Do you remember that? Big deal. Oh, my God. The Senate Republicans have been working on this investigation into the Biden family, specifically Hunter Biden, to show what a gangster he is and what a gangster Joe Biden is. Yada, 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 yada. And for those reasons, you must vote for Donald Trump for another four years to totally fuck up America. And of course, the American public didn't go along with it. But when the report was released, there was no there there. But how quickly we forget this shit, see? How quickly we forget it. So the orange vomit has repeatedly promoted these bullshit claims of foreign business dealings by Hunter Biden. Specifically, bum, bum, bum that Hunter Biden received millions of dollars from the wife of the now dead mayor of Moscow, Yuri Luskov. Yes, you didn't know? In this interview with this fascist network, Trump said in the interview, uh, he said, quote, she, the wife of the dead mayor, she gave him three and a half million dollars. So now I would think Putin would know the answer to that. I think he should release it. I think we should know that answer. End quote. What answer, asshole? You haven't asked a question. But but this is this is Trump. This is this is where I kind of lose my shit because I I I I look at this Trump, the stuff that Trump says or the allegations that come out of his filthy mouth, and for a moment I treat them as though they're rational. So in the interview, though, and this comes from Politico, Trump failed to mention that he, Trump, tried to do business with Luskov's government in the late 1990s. (laughs) And as recently as 2016, Trump was pursuing high profile real estate deals in Russia, including the proposed Trump Tower Moscow. Ta-da! But no, he, he says to these two dumb fucks on this 
Toy Television Network, the Real America's Voice Network. What the fuck? Where, where do they come up with these titles? Like the Onan Channel, One America News, One America Up Your Ass, or Real America's Voice Network. Oh, come on. But anyway, I digress. So somebody in the Biden White House declined to comment on Trump's remarks on this bullshit uh, TV show. Um, Hunter Biden revealed in 2020 that the U.S. Attorney's Office in Delaware was investigating his tax affairs. And Politico also reported at the time that the Securities Fraud Division in the Southern District of New York had taken apart Hunter Biden's finances to see how much corruption they could find. Boop, boop, boop. The Wall Street Journal reported this Monday that the federal tax investigation into, into Hunter Biden is gaining momentum with prosecutors in Delaware seeking information and grand jury testimony in recent weeks. Which has nothing. Uh, maybe Hunter Biden cheated like a motherfucker on his taxes. But what's that got to do with Putin? And the dead mayor of, of Moscow. Oh, well, the dead mayor's wife. Now, this is, uh, you know, Trump's uh, bullshit that he spewed on this toy network the other day was uh, certainly not the first time that he suggested or demanded that foreign governments intervene to damage his domestic political rivals, most notably the Bidens. And if you remember in 2016, when Trump publicly asked the fascist in Russia to get the emails from the private email server that uh, Hillary Clinton used during her tenure as Secretary of State. And in 2019, the House of Representatives impeached Trump for withholding crucial military aid from Ukraine, from President Zelensky, unless Zelensky responded to this filthy son of a bitch's blackmail. So... This new demand from this horrible fucking subhuman Donald Trump to Putin raises the specter of those scandals as the Russian president who, honest to God, Donald Trump, you dumb fuck, he has more on his mind with his five week long ass kicking he's getting and murder he's committing in Ukraine than to worry about your goddamn political career, Trump. And remember, it was uh, Trump who described what Putin did with his invasion of Ukraine as Trump's word genius and savvy. And just last month when, when, when the invasion occurred and the orange vomit argued that Joe Biden was quote, almost giving Putin an incentive to deploy nuclear weapons. I, I, I mean, you know, when I call for the removal or when, uh, when Biden calls for the removal of Putin in, in whatever way you want to interpret removal. That is exactly down to the, to the last syllable, exactly what I think about Trump. His removal. So whatever, and, and you know, of course, nobody's going to say, well, Malloy, you better walk that back. That sounds uh, vaguely threatening. <laughs> Or like they told Biden, well, that sounds like you're advocating a regime change. Oh, God, help us. Let's not do that. In the wonderful world of geopolitical bullshit, the leader of the United States is not to suggest that a murderous son of a bitch named Vladimir Putin, for God's sake, should be removed from office. No, you're not supposed to do that. 
Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.